This week on Featured Friday, we're playing Evan and the Orbs of Chaos by M. After jumping into a random portal, you get away from him. Who am I? Who's after me? Who did I get away from? I feel like maybe I missed a game. Too heavy. I wonder what could help. So I can't pick these up yet. Gotta find uh, something that lets me pick them up. Um, they look like goblins. Yeah, they do. They kind of remember like like vegetable goblins like they're i don't know if it's just because these little bushes but they kind of remind me of like little heads of lettuce or cabbage or something like cabbage goblins the animations on these characters are really great um like the walk cycles are are awesome the way he just kind of swings his arms around it's really good poses are really solid. These bombs blow up the crates over there. Okay. That's down here. Another portal, but this one is locked. It's got to be a key somewhere around this place. All right. So I'm looking for at least one key and something to lift heavy crates. So essentially two different types of keys probably, but there might be more. Um, but I know at least I'm looking for two items. Got him. Grab this other bomb just in case. I only have one heart, so you know, just be careful. Oof. Got him. Now, oh, is that the item I need? Probably. Dumbbell. You gain strength from this mysterious dumbbell. Lifting weights. Getting jacked. I'm being really risky here with this one, one heart. Oh, oh. I can't go through that door. I think that's just the other side of where I was before. I wasn't sure if this dumbbell double, doubled as a door. Um, or sorry, doubled as a key for that door, but no, it doesn't. You never know. Maybe the dumbbell made him so strong he could just rip the, <laughs> rip the door off the hinges. It's always so hard to jump out of water when you have a single jump. It looks like it's just like a pixel too short. I thought maybe I could do it. I'll do it your way. I know you want me to grab one of the crates. I really like the snowy area. There's just something about like snowy, like ice levels. They just kind of hit different, you know? They have a certain feel to them. I always like it, like around like Christmas time, like in the arcade, I feel like a lot of people make like ice games or like, you know, snowy games, you know, it makes sense. Um, and I feel like you don't normally see them any other time of the year. Um, they just kind of, are more whoa that was a weird glitch um they kind of become more abundant around that time of year um so it's always fun to see the new ice levels and snowy levels that that come out <laughs> oh no 
They can move, but it's just funny to watch. Even though the block doesn't make a sound when it hits your head, it reminded me of uh, this audio glitch from Super Mario 64, where Mario will kind of do this. <laughs> Yeah, it just like does a weird thing with his voice clip when he's stuck on an edge or something like that. I don't know. It's really funny. It used to crack me up as a kid. Um, I don't know, man. Old games, they got stuff like that in them everywhere. And uh, it's part of the charm. Um, a little rough around the edges sometimes, but that's what makes them, I don't know. That's what makes them fun. Sometimes when something's too polished, you're kind of like, I don't know. It It's missing some of that soul or that like, human made feel to it um you know and obviously not like game breaking bugs stuff like that that's you know i'm not talking about stuff like that um but when there's just some weird quirks i think that um i don't know i think that can add to the the overall feel or the charm of certain games and yeah and in that case mario 64 that's what i was talking about but <laughs> but you know for all kinds of games is there a game that uh, you guys like uh that maybe has some glitches or something that you uh, it wouldn't be the same without those glitches or bugs. And again, I'm not talking about crashes or things like that, but like, is there a game like that out there that you like that might have something like that in it, um, but you love it anyway? Um, I'm curious, let us know. Mm, making my way back. Oh, come on. I keep forgetting like, I actually need these crates. I get so used to like babysitting the orange blocks in a lot of these games that um, you kind of hinder yourself if you take them with you. There we go. That was really awesome. Uh, the art is excellent. The animations are great. Um, and yeah, the level design was really fun. And uh, I really enjoyed the puzzle element or just having to get the keys and the dumbbell, all of those things. Uh, I'm looking forward to it because I feel like I missed part of the story um, with the beginning and then there's like a portal. So I feel like there's gonna be more. Obviously now we have new uh, warp features with 2.8. So I could see this definitely expanding. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the next chapter of Evan and the Chaos orbs and uh, that's it for this video so if you liked it please like the video uh subscribe maybe if you want to see more like this and uh let us know in the comments if you have a game that you want us to check out uh let us know the title of the game the username and the arcade id and bonus points if you let us know why we should feature it or why we might like it we might be more inclined to check it out anyway that's all for this time so we will see you next video